Just last Wednesday, hundreds of women and men wore red and took to rallying in Lower Sproul Plaza in celebration of International Women's Day. The rally was inclusive of all who wanted to bring attention to women's rights, including students, professors, civil rights groups, political organizations, and representatives from the Tang Center. The rally was peaceful but passionate, with many gathered around to listen to various women sharing their ideas behind women empowerment and feminism. Some veered away from traditional speeches and began avid chants. She or prepared animated songs to sing to the crowd gathered. But if I listen to my boss, I'm just a bloody fool and an underpaid engineer. Erica West, a member of the International Socialist Organization, claims that the large turnout could be in response to the current administration. There's marches and demonstrations all over the country, and so I think a lot of people have been energized by the election of Donald Trump and also are realizing that the things that we thought we were done fighting for, reproductive rights, against domestic violence, um, even things like the wage gap, these are still fights that we're going to have to take on ourselves. Many took the day off of work or school to show the importance of a woman's role in the workplace in what they entitled a day without a woman. Robin Mills, coordinator of Tang Center's sexual health education program, heard about the rally and decided it was best to leave work to support a cause close to her heart. Hi, I'm Miss Robin, your sex goddess, and this is Sexpert Vicious V. And we are out here dressed as a vulva partly because we wanted to just come and support the International Women's Day, but also because we come out as vulvas and penises once a month to support the sexual health education program's monthly events. Even though they supported different causes, these feminists were able to come together in solidarity to celebrate the important role of women in society. I'm Perla Shaheen, reporting for Cal TV News. First, I think it was you know just incredibly dangerous to bring him to campus. I think that.